Welcome, dwellers, to another episode of Basement What If, where Weird comes over and says, It's kind of weird in here. I'm Mitch. And I'm Sally. Oh, Sally, 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 Sally. What? I didn't know it was your sandwich. Not that. We have a guest today on Basement What If. Okay, I'm listening. Well, he's the Prince of Nightmares. No. He's the Demon of Elm Street. Oh, say it, son. Let's welcome to Basement What If, Freddy Krueger. Shut the fuck up. I love you, Freddy. Well now, Sally, I must admit, it's not often I get such a warm welcome. Usually it's more screams and pleas for mercy. <laughs> All right, Sally, compose yourself. So, Freddy, what brings you to our humble basement? You know, Mitch, I heard this was the place where the weird gets weirder. And you know me, I do love a good touch of the bazaar. Plus, I was getting a little tired of the same old nightmares. Dear Dad, shake things up a little bit. Okay. In Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, how was working with 3D? Sally, Mr. Kruger isn't here to answer your horror nerd questions. Oh, come on, Mitch. Let the girl have her fun. Sally, the 3D was a game changer. After all, there's nothing quite like having my blades coming right at your face, is there? <laughs> well, there you have it, Sally. Your horror nerd question has been answered. Now back to the interview. Oh, I'm all ears, Mitch. Ask away. Just remember, don't get too dull. My blades aren't. <laughs> I hear you have a new podcast. No way. What's it about? Ah, you've been doing your homework. Yes, Mitch, it is true. I've decided to take my talent for terror into the digital age. The podcast is called Sweet Dreams with Freddy Krueger. Ironic, isn't it? And what can listeners expect from the podcast, Freddy? Well, it's a little bit of everything. There are stories, of course, the kind that make you check under your bed before you go to sleep. Interviews with other horror icons, and for the truly brave, I even delve into some of the darkest corners of the human psyche. It's a real scream if I say so myself. Can I touch your face? Sally! Oh, Sally. Oh, the earth's so bold. I gotta say it's refreshing. But be warned, my face isn't exactly what you'd call pleasant to the touch. I hope it doesn't scar you. Ha ha ha! Sally, think about what you're doing. This is Freddy Krueger we're talking about. Oh, come now, Mitch. Don't be such a spoils port. I promise I'll be gentle. Sort of. I want to be your nightmare slave. <laughs> Sally, you do have a way with words. You are going to be fun. So, back to the podcast. Do you ever have any guests? Ah, right. The podcast. You see, Mitch, I do have some guests once in a while. I'll invite some of my fellow horror icons to join me. We'll share stories, discuss our favorite methods of terror, swap recipes. I just had Pinhead on last week, in fact. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Can I be a guest? Well, Sally, I think we can certainly arrange something. Just remember, it's not for the faint of heart. Sally, remember, we have a show to host. Oh, don't you worry, Mitch. I'll be sure to return her in one piece. More or less. If you could feel my panties. Sally, that's gross. Freddy, any chance you could put in a good word with some uh, other horror buddies of yours? Ah, Mitch, I see what you're doing. Trying to network. I can respect that. I can certainly put in a good word with you as some of my horror buddies. Just remember, some of them aren't as charming as I can be. I'll keep that in mind, Freddy. Thanks. And Mitch, don't be such a prude. We're all adults here. That's the spirit, Sally. I knew there was a reason I liked you. A little old for you, isn't she? Freddy, will you sign my titties? And that's all the time we have for Basement 1F. Mitch, do you have a marker? For Scary Sally, I'm Mitch saying something clever. See you next time. Does anyone have a fucking marker?